When you think of Frank Lloyd Wright, you naturally think of great architecture. You don't associate him with a heinous crime and a haunted house, but a scandalous affair and a grisly massacre is just what this haunted house story is about. In 1903, Frank Lloyd Wright's wife, Catherine, introduced Martha Mama Borthwick Cheney and her husband Edwin Cheney to Wright when the Cheney couple decided to commission a new house. No good deed goes unpunished, however, because soon after, Wright and Mama started an affair. Cheney divorced his wife and received custody of their two children. Catherine refused to agree to a divorce, but that didn't stop Frank and Mama. Wright abandoned his wife and six children, and in 1911, he began construction of Taliesin, where the couple moved in together, a highly immoral act in those days. On August 15, 1914, while Wright was in Chicago on business, Mama, her two children, eight-year-old Martha and five-year-old John, along with a group of Wright's draftsmen and laborers, were being served lunch in the dining room by Barbados native Julian Carlton. Earlier in the day, he had been reprimanded by Mama. As related by 19-year-old draftsman Herbert Fritz and his tablemates, we heard a swish as though water was thrown through the screen door. Then we saw some fluid coming under the door. It looked like dishwater. It spread out all over the floor. Carlton had poured gasoline through the locked doors, and the dining room was engulfed in flames. According to the August 16th, 1914 edition of the Detroit Tribune, Mama, in an attempt to escape the flames, was the first to put her head out an open window. Carlton, waiting outside, wielded a hatchet to cut her neck and crush her skull. He then systematically did the same for each person attempting egress from the burning house. Seven people were massacred, including Mama, her two children, two workers, and a 13-year-old boy. Two survived, but were badly injured. Carlton was found hours later after the attack inside the basement furnace of the house. He had swallowed muriatic acid and was barely conscious. He never suggested a motive for the massacre and died in jail from self-inflicted starvation eight weeks later. Taliesin was destroyed, but Wright rebuilt it in Mama's honor. Apparently, the gods did not look fondly on the new incarnation of Taliesin either, as the home was struck by lighting in 1925 and was burnt to the ground a second time. Third rebuild was the charm. Right after the murders, the bodies were taken to a cottage on the grounds called Tan Weed Dairy. It is here where the ghost of Mama purportedly resides. Usually dressed in a flowing white gown, she is a peaceful presence, but appears restless and lost. Doors, windows, and lights have been known to open and close by themselves. Groundskeepers who lock the cottage up for the night have reported finding doors and windows wide open the next morning. 